What is up, YouTube? We're gonna do a video here on uh, how to repair some drywall. So, uh, here's the culprit. Ben, go ahead and tell him. Hey, you know, sometimes your foot slips on a rafter. And... Sometimes. Hey. Well, to give him the benefit of the doubt, it was wet. First roof of the year, we come, we come out of this hatch here, and uh, let's just look at the precision necessary here to cause such fine damage. I mean, you crawl out of this thing, you got this two by to step on, and literally this right here. They somehow managed to slip, kick one of these electrical boxes that looks like it's already rigged in some fashion or another. And it almost looks like now that I'm looking at it, like he stepped on the bracket. I hope he didn't think that was uh, ideal. But, all right. Well, we're here now. So, Ben's going to be the one that cuts it down. So, he gets the uh, all this junk in his face. There's even a little glass there for him. So, that's okay. Let's go over some tools. So, happen to be right, you know, perfectly placed next to an exit sign. So, that's... It always adds to the flavor, you know, a little bit more fun. But yeah, we got some drill stuff to take that down. I got some of this. Um, it's a little thing. Usually, I brought some 45 just in case. But usually I'll use uh, 20 or I've even tried to use 5, like a little bag of 5 for small repairs. But uh, I'm going to give this stuff a, a try today. And we got a chalk line to mark up there where we're going to need to cut this for the paint. We've got the color match paint that they use here at the apartment complex. Drywall screws are in there, a handful of them. Uh, beautiful little Lufkin tape measure. A fan. We're going to post this, post this thing straight upwards. Try to get that to dry a little quicker so we can do this kind of in a quick one swing kind of thing. Shop vac for the dust. Trusty. You know, we got some sander stuff. Tell me if this paper's stupid or not. Because I know it leaves little lines in it. Usually when you prime, I feel like it takes the lines out, like, no problem. But I don't know. I mean, I always thought that these were a little easier to work with than uh, stuff that looks like this. You know, that is probably super fine, too fine for drywall anyway. But you know what I mean, the other style. So we got these. Um, one thing, no matter who you are, uh, when you have drywall tools, the one thing that always goes missing, everybody on three, mud pans. You can buy 30, you'll never have more than two at one time. So, happened to find one today, got lucky in that manner. And uh, then I bought, I found these little drywall patches at the depot. One is a half inch, one is five eighths, just because I didn't trust Ben and his measurements. They were only five bucks each. They come in 23 and five eighths by 23 and five eighths, so... Uh, should be golden like a shower with these and I think that about wraps it up so nothing to it but to do it I have to cut um, oh I've got a bunch of tape in there too so I've got corner tape if necessary um, we'll have to see I may I may I got a two by four I might let me see where this is at in order to avoid that corner tape that takes a little extra mud in a little extra uh, a little extra time, a little extra effort, and it's uh, just an extra detail that can really make this job look look terrible, you know. So I may just try to take this off here and then maybe just cut to right here. I'll install my own 2x4 so that we can keep this away from the corner in here. I don't have my drill with me, but that might be the better way to do it. So, okay, onward. Alright, time to get electrocuted. Alright. Alright. So you can see this is painted and potentially even caulked in. It's definitely caulked in here where they're 45, so we're good. But we're going to take this knife, you run it right through there, right flush against it, and get it all in your eyes as preferred. And then you come back. And just a little more in my eyes, please. Thank you. Yes, there we go. Oh, I forget to breathe while you're doing it. Usually that'll help too. I should cut towards me.
I'm trying to make this come out as easy as possible without peeling a bunch of paint. That's all I did. In the middle of the top. Too easy. It's little things like that. Make your job go a little smoother. So that could have easily that could easily peel paint all this way, that way. It wouldn't have been fun. Okay. I want to show you guys this stuff too so you can see. This has already been like kinda weirdly patched and all that stuff. And especially if you look at it from over here. I like these, how uneven everything is at the at the ceiling here. So, so we were trying to do this whole line snapping thing. I'm just gonna make a mark flush with this thing where about where I'm gonna go. So. Now we know that's where the edge of the rafter is. I'll do the same thing over here. Yep. All right, there you go. Oh, just a lot of paint right there. Okay. So Ben, give me the chocolate. Ring. You know where the edge of the rafter is now. Want to be about three quarters of an inch short of it. Yes, everywhere you know my ankles with me. Looks decent. I got down yeah it should just uh there are a couple of screws in it still all right it should just yep peel right look at that off. there's a lot of garbage on top of it there's that glass i was talking about yeah what's that holding oh okay. i'll take that straight out to my truck look at that is that is that like how much mud was caked up? Like what is that? That's like some. Is that like a patch thing? Like this isn't even touching the wood? Like I have no idea. Like what? What? All right, so we, we managed to get this on, but you can see right here, way too high. Like that's, we're hitting way too much, and then look at, I managed to get that corner screw in. It's like way over there. The back's not that bad, this side's not terrible, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here with some two bys and uh, set it at the level we want. Full sand. All right. Okay, so we were having issues with this backside here. So what we did was we went ahead and put these screws in here and then we just hit it from underneath, one on each side of that. And then this one actually, that one actually only got one screw on the side of that the new drywall's on. And that's just resting on there holding that level, so. There we go. Got it pretty close. This is the only rough corner. Everything else is virtually flush, so. Should make our mudding a little easier that way. 
We got this tape here. It's fiber fuse. I kind of like it. Seems easier to work with than anything else I've ever tried. The mesh or anything else. So, got a little plastic thing here. And I half that. Oh, damn it. And I half ass way uh, cleaned all this stuff up, you know? So. All right, so this is my first like kind of look at it from the bottom so you guys can see what it's looking like at after the first little rough coat slapping it on there. We're just going to widen this out in all directions. You can see a lot about it. If you go like this, you can see how it's like our, how it rocks. I'm gonna try to fix what they had going on too. Which means I'm gonna go right to this corner and a little on that spot. All right, so I did a little bit of sanding, as you can see, and uh, decided to do one more little bit, extend out these uh, corners a little here, there as well. And uh, I tried to make that hump look as good as possible. You know, it was already there in the beginning. Did them a little bit of a favor on that. So, I'll come back tomorrow, a little sand. I caked some of it on, you know, like right Right there's a spot I had to kick a little bit. That was where that corner was the worst. So, do a nice little sanding and then this will be the best looking thing out here. I mean, you can see there, and all of this. So. Yeah, this is 
This is already looking pretty good. Just this stuff needs a little more feathered, that's all. But yeah, so we got these. It's real hard to get in the corners, so these have this angle on them. So they help you can put it flat against the wall or angle it like that. And then it gets the corner in like the first inch inside the corner. And feathering out these ends is one of the more important things. A lot of this stuff, as long as you run your knife decently smooth, won't be that bad. Just a quick pass out here, but feathering out this edge is what's really gonna blend, make sure that the rest gets blended. And then obviously having a nice 3 8 nap on that roller will help uh, hide some of the imperfections and the transitions and stuff, so. I'm rolling this slow because I don't have uh, any, any tarp down, so I'm trying to make sure we don't have a bunch of splatter. Yeah, so your drywall is super absorbent. New drywall with all that mud and everything. So, you know, anytime you're doing fresh mud, doesn't much matter in my opinion with that, uh, with the, uh, bucket of paint you buy says two in one primer guaranteed one coat most likely you're gonna have to do two so as you can see these trims are like different sizes and it's doing some wacky stuff right here like I expected that to come out a little more if you come over here and look how bad how bad all this is. I mean, yeah, these trims are different widths, you know, and it looks like they might have had it even at the back before, and I figured it'd be even at the point, so that's, it's a whole thing. So I don't have any, uh, like, Alex Plus on me or anything, so we're just gonna do some quad in here real quick, let it dry for a little bit, and then paint it, even though it says on here, uh, you know, don't paint until it's fully cured, which is seven to 14 days. Like I always say, learn the rules like a professional so you can bend them like an artist. That's my excuse for doing dumb stuff. We don't have a cock gun, so we're going to do the all roofer strike. It also says don't smear. Sorry, buddy, you're getting smeared. Unfortunately, they're not the Alex Plus, but it is what it is. All right, so we are all done here. Got it all up. I'm so disappointed at how thin this piece is. I don't know who ripped that thing down and why they ripped it. It doesn't make any sense but it's making my nice job look terrible. So, yeah, we're all good here. As you can see, it's the best looking thing over here. Yeah. <laughs>